In today's webinar, we'll be focused on how Sutter Health leveraged Project Red, a project out of the Boston University Medical Center, to lower 30-day readmit rates. Before we talk specifically about Project Red, let's just touch briefly on why 30-day readmit rates are of such interest. Krishna, I touched um, just now on, on the transition in, in reimbursement models. Can you give us a little bit more background into why that is and why the 30-day readmit rate is, is of such importance in that context? Yeah, absolutely. So, you know, in the acute care setting, the, man the measurement of a 30-day readmission rate is used as a key metric to judge the organization's um, performance and efficacy of care, and specifically by CMS or Medicare, and it impacts our reimbursements. And um, what this really translates to is the Affordable Care Act uh, legislation that created new policies and new penalties around for hospitals that had high 30-day readmission rates. So each year, as, as time goes on, these um, penalties become more stringent <laughs> and more impactful. And for Sutter Health, based on our data and across our 26 hospitals that we have today, um, our modeling indicates for 2015 alone, we're at risk for about $25 million, which wow. is about a 79% increase from last year. So it's pretty substantial in terms of the penalties by not really managing your high at-risk patients in this area. So not a small problem to solve. No. <laughs> okay. And so it's in that context that um, Project RED, which stands for Project Reengineered Discharge, was formed by a research group at the Boston University Medical Center. The group developed a methodology for thinking about the discharge process, founded on 12 discrete steps, and have been able to tailor that process to reduce the 30-day readmit rate um, and have, have successfully trialed this out across a number of hospitals. However, in and of itself, Project Red is only a developer, a uh, sort of development framework, and each provider has leeway to drive implementation of that framework as they see best. Kristen, can you share how SATA has thought about implementing Project Red? 